then this is just a look at uh, some of the uh, the other member localities, uh, what they've been funding uh, the last five years as well, and uh, what was requested of them. And you can see that uh, it, it's not unusual for a locality to not fund the full request. Uh, the uh, the difference being that this year we were probably the uh, the uh, only locality to do so, uh, and really the uh, there it's not a uh, we have this is the language uh, applicable language in the library agreement. Uh, I believe it's from uh, 1993 was when the uh, agreement was last updated. Uh, and it talks about uh, the uh, funding levels and that the locality can choose not to fund, fully fund the request of the library. Uh, and if, uh, if uh, needed, uh, in order to balance their budget, uh, the, the library can cut back on services within that locality. And also the jurisdiction may recommend if we underfund it, uh, what services uh, the library could cut, cut back in the county to uh, to uh, balance their budget. Is Spotsylvania in jeopardy of losing <clears throat> services? You know, as a, anytime a, soon. As a lover of libraries and as a reader and as a library director, I don't ever want to cut services of any kind anywhere. I will tell you that our library board, which is compl comprised of representatives from Spotsylvania County, um, is a little... Um, Disappointed um, that the funding has been um, underfunded, the library has been <coughs> underfunded for 11 years from Spotsylvania County, and they have said the words to me, either Spotsylvania County has to, you know, fully fund us this year for a change, or we will cut hours at the branches, and I'm sorry, but I do not have a choice. I'm actually hired by the library board. Is not my choice to do this. Which I, I'm not a fan of outside budget time um, adjustments unless they're necessary or a case can be made for them. We do do them. I'm, I'm not saying that we can't do it. Um, but that 124 then would go into the base budget that then next year you're going to be asking for another roughly $200,000 above. So if you do not get that 124, in theory, you would add 124 plus the 200 next year and be asking for about 330 in, in rough numbers? I believe we would, yes. We have not, we've just gotten started on our budget for FY18, but I believe we would have to do that. Okay, so I would just caution the board that if, if we're going to do it, we can use one-time monies that, that are sitting there, but knowing that we would then have to replenish those with ongoing monies from somewhere. So you have to, we don't have a bag of money sitting somewhere that just keeps getting filled year after year. Um, we need to just you know, be a little cautious about that.